It's grape juice, everybody. Ready? <clears throat> hey guys, beautiful Tangle Mesh here, once again bringing you another episode of Live Free Die Hard, the vintage edition of Dead. <laughs> Today's recipe is another weird one, obviously, because it's the vintage edition, but it is called apples and tomato molds. And there's also ham, Worcestershire sauce. Again, gelatin, because apparently everybody back in the vintage day liked gelatin. I don't know why, but that's what we're making today. It's gonna be like a salad, savory, dinner thing? I have no idea because again, it's a very confusing recipe. I honestly don't think that the flavors are going to mesh like they always never do. Let's get started on the cooking! The first thing we're gonna need is two cups of tomato juice. Again, two packets of unflavored disgusting gelatin. Two thirds cup of water. And maybe a little wine. It's grape juice. We're gonna need a tablespoon of Worcestershire, of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, one apple chopped, and then ham that is chopped. Right here. Now it is time to put all these ingredients together and make this delicious gelatin mold apple stuff. The first thing we need to do is pour the tomato sauce into a bowl. Juice. Oh my bad, tomato juice. Would you like to smell the tomato juice? Smells like tomatoes. Yeah, yes. The next thing we need to do is soak the gelatin in warm water. So can you please, bebe, do that for me, please, yes, bebe? More grape juice, please. So what we did was heat up the water, and then we're going to whisk the gelatin until it is completely dissolved, because we are doing shortcuts, because <laughs> we're in the modern days, okay? Grape juice. Ow! Oh, okay, well, it's done. We need to pour. pour Red these have to go. <laughs> Ooh, there's a chunk in there. We're gonna stir this together, just like dish. And now we need to add the Worcestershire shirsh. I've never had Worcestershire jello before. This is gonna be interesting. And go, 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 go. Oh, we were supposed to peel the apple. Oh well, it's gonna add some flavor. So apparently you're supposed to peel the apple before you slice it. So we need to mix this until it starts to thicken. So while you're chopping the, t the apples, I'm gonna mix this a little bit more until it thickens. <clears throat> like my thighs. This is gonna make a fantastic dessert for this family dinner. Stinks. Glad you're dating me. Do da. Right. Do da. I wish YouTube had like smell o vision. This stinks. Grape juice break. Grape juice break. We need to add the salt and pepper now. Half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze so bad. All right. This has thickened a little bit after we have mixed all of it together. So now we need to add all of the apple mixture and a fourth cup of the diced ham. Ready, set, go. Welcome back to ASMR. Today we're putting chopped up apples in tomato juice. Ugh. And voila. So now we stir it together. Once it's all stirred together, we're gonna put it in custard bowls, but we don't have custard bowls, and the picture has them looking like this, so we're gonna put them in these tiny little solo cups. So there. Who's ready to see a close-up of this deliciousness that we call gunk? Yeah. <laughs> mm, so good. So we're gonna put the mixture into the cup. We're gonna let them firm in the refrigerator. It needs to be higher than that. It almost looks like a Bloody Mary, but not. There's gonna be enough for everybody in this house today. <laughs> Yay! Hey, hey. We've got 
the tomato mold, apple and tomato molds right here. They are too liquidy, obviously, so we need to put them in the fridge so they can firm, and then we can take them out of the mold and put them all together in a decorative piece, and then we're gonna try them. So, we'll be right back. We'll be right back after these messages. The grape juice is amazing. Save this ham, though. The tomato apple mold thingy majiggers have been sitting in the freezer for quite a while now, and I have prepared a dish to display them. And we are getting them out of the molds right now, and we are about to plate them. Are you ready for the amazing picture that is going to be perfect? All right, here we go. <laughs> These are so delicate. But give me one second. We have to do a slow mo of these. <laughs> oh no, don't fall over, mister. No, no, Here, no, 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 Put it down, put it down, put it down. You're not the director, you're the assistant. No, no. tomato mold, which they don't tell you has ham in it, so my boyfriend and I are going to taste this and we are going to see how well it is, because he thinks it's going to taste like a Bloody Mary, I think it's going to taste like, I don't know, so are you, are you ready? This is the most excited one I am about yet. Live free, dine hard, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta... Cheers. Oh, yeah. Can you hear that cup? Uh uh. Yep. Tastes just like a. It's good. Tastes like a gelatin Bloody Mary with ham in it. I need some vodka. I had some vodka. It's really good. I don't know. I don't know why you spit it out. That was good. We're gonna get some other opinions in on this. We stuff. are. I didn't get any apple, so I, I'm gonna taste a little bit of the bottom of this because I think the apples went to the bottom. We're getting some other opinions on this. This is my sister Chastity trying it out. Um, his mother's in, right over there. <laughs> what do you think? We'll try the apple part. Yeah, the apple's okay. Oh. It's like, it's weird, like it's sweet, but then it gets oh, like. Gross. <laughs> His brother is about to try it now. I just don't understand why you would make what? it. <laughs> it's honestly why? a lot better than the other recipes I've tried. <laughs> no, but don't think? try it. Tastes like a Bloody Mary. Add vodka. <gasps> it's okay. This is such a confusing recipe. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We've got mixed opinions. I didn't like it. I'm tasting a lot of pepper now. I'm not saying that I really liked it, but I'm not saying it was it wasn't terrible either. Mm, I just swallowed. Mm -mm. <laughs> I need some more grape juice. Whatever you need. Get it down. That was the recipe for Liffrey Dine Hard. It was apple and tomato mold, which I am going to change this to be called Virgin Bloody Mary Jello Shot. Giant Jello Shots. It makes no sense because there's apple and ham in it because there's no none of that in Bloody Mary's but whatever. So I'm gonna leave the link to this recipe in the description below. If you decide to try it, be sure to send me a picture on my social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And also I have a website now, beautifultangledmess.com if you want to leave a comment on there and let me know what you think of my website. Thank you so much for tuning in to this awesome, amazing video and thank you to everybody that helped me with this video. I could not have done it without you and thank you for putting up with me and my craziness, especially this one because she stuck with me all the time.
I will leave links to all my social media in the description below. Leave a comment if you want me to try other different foods, other challenges, because this series is almost over. Not that I'm going to stop making gross stuff, but I'm going to take a break from the gross vintage stuff after the next episode. So leave a comment on anything else you would like me to try on this channel on Beautiful Tango Plus. And I will see you guys back in the next video. Always remember guys, that life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have dealt with in life and make it the best time of our lives. You guys are awesome and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys, bye, 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 bye.